What's up YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here and thanks again for tuning in for another TCG battle video. Today we're gonna play with Scizor GX. A very popular Pokemon Scizor. It has the Danger Perception ability, which means if it has 100 HP or less, we deal an additional 80 damage with all of our attacks of Scizor GX. That means Steel Wing will be able to deal 160, Crosscut a base of 160, and uh, if you have not noticed, Crosscut deals 200 damage as a base against, of course, Evolution Pokemon, so that means uh, 260 of the ability, uh, actually 280 of the ability kicks in, meaning we one shot every Evolution Pokemon in town. Also, Steel Wing is kind of the nifty attack because the opponent will deal 30 less damage against Scizor on the uh, the next turn, we have Oranguru drawing some cards is awesome. We have Moon Racker Stella Steela because of uh, the total amount of prize cards between both players is six. We can deal 160 damage for a single Metal Energy, and uh, with one Dalmize on the field, we deal 170. So Dalmize adds the HP, actually the damage output for every Metal type by 10. So that is awesome. Registeel, of course, if uh, we don't have access to our Max Elixirs, this is a pre-rotation deck. If you're interested in post-rotation content, be sure to subscribe to the channel since a lot of that is coming on the channel very, very soon. Okay, what else is in this deck? We have one Evo Sora because we want to go uh, onto the Scissor Jacks as quickly as possible. We have uh, Parallel City slowing down Zoroark variants so they can only have three bench Pokemon. And uh, of course, with Steel Wing after the attack, the Zoroark players' Righteous Beating will not do that much against us. So, of course, three, four DCEs because, of course, we need it for cross cut and then nine metal energies, of course, because we can abuse Max Elixir. And uh, all the rest is pretty self explanatory. So, we're gonna go straight into this video. I do love the inclusion of the Dalmize because Dalmize, of course, makes sure that cross cut without choice, but already deals 210 against Zoroark. So, that is awesome. So, we're gonna see what opponent waits us on the other side of the world. I've seen a lot of people try out Shrine of Punishment, which is something we'll also uh, feature on the channel very shortly. Maybe uh, in Wednesday's episode, we're gonna check out the, how good the Shrine of Punishment actually is and I'm uh, very excited to test that out because Shrine of Punishment very very solid stadium card looks like Gardevoir is showing uh, its last uh, faces before worlds with Galate Galate is going to rotate soon we're gonna say Tails never fails and we do see that it doesn't work good news is we can start swinging with Registeel if we happen to start with it so at least we have that going for us and we start with Scyther so at least we have access to the uh, Agility Agility is an attack Similar like a, uh, like a bubble attack where you can just stall because this attack deals 20 damage and you flip a coin of heads We prevent all the damage including damage actually prevent all this, everything happening to Scyther on the next turn So uh, if they want to paralyze us, sorry, if they want to attack us the damage it doesn't even matter We are invincible for one single turn Remember if uh, the Darwin Necrozma uses the Moon Eclipse GX Well, it's something similar like that. We are invincible for one single turn. So Oranguru research management. Hello? Hello? What is this? Research management? Uh, we've seen this before with Tord Reckliff becoming second at a very, very big, I think it was a regionals, where he used uh, the research management or an international. I have to think about that. So, <laughs> Oranguru, very, very solid card. Putting three cards from the bottom of your deck. Actually, from your discard pile on the bottom of the deck. Tapu Lily showing the face. We're gonna see a uh, nifty, what is it? You can guess it. It is going to be a Bridget. Of course, we need a Bridget here. At this situation, Scyther is our only. Pokemon, but we of course have access to the twin play, which means we can uh, already set up two Scyther's on the on the field with twin play. It searches the deck for two Scyther and put them directly on the bench, so we don't always need a Bridget. And this one is stuck in the active for sure, so that's awesome. No, I'm not gonna see too much. Oh, new EX, hello. This is also pre-rotation shenanigans, so that is the reason why on the TCG Online program we are not relying on um, of course, wow, he's going to attach this E onto it. We have, of course, Axis. I'm gonna give an energy to the Scyther here. We're just gonna... Do we end the opponent? He only has two cards in the hand. Eh, I'm just fine with using the attack twin play. Uh, because he only has two cards in the hand. So with that, we already have uh, access to uh, searching our deck. We're gonna see here, Moonracker is in here because we'll definitely need that. We also hit for weakness, just saying. Uh, if it evolves into Gardevoir, we don't have uh, trouble with it, so let's get out these guys. Two Scyther, that's going to be that. He's definitely going to take... Ooh, my hand is uh, devastating. Well, it doesn't even matter too much. We are parallel, though, so doesn't even matter too much. Next turn, Max Elixir coming along. There goes Scissor Jacks. Okay, he's going to rack up some damage here. He's going to smack with Oranguru for 60 damage. He thinks that I don't have anything to work with. Well, that's where he's wrong. Sycamore coming along. We of course have access to cross cut, which won't do much if we don't have two Dalmice in play. That is something I uh, should have checked out if we have two Dalmice in play or not. Curlia, hooray, hooray. Okay, we're definitely gonna see Galates in action. Ultra Ball, 
maybe a Gardevoir or a Glade. We don't see any Octillery. That is very, very nifty. It's going to be an Oranguru build, I guess. And this one will confuse the hell out of us with Profound Knowledge. Profound Knowledge as an attack. So this Oranguru, very, very wise, <laughs> as you can see. Oh, Profound Knowledge, oh my god, we, uh, we got 60 damage on ourselves. Well, that happened. So, Max Elixir. It fills. Well, we can take that. Max Elixir. Well, now it works, so fantastically it works. We're gonna get rid of that Curlia immediately. We're not afraid of the Zoran Guru too much. We're gonna evolve into Scissor GX. And we're gonna try out Guzma. So uh, as you see, four Guzmas in the deck definitely helps out. So get over here, Curlia. So it doesn't even matter if we're hitting for weakness or not. The Curlia only has 80 HP, so you don't have to say, for, oh, it's because of weakness and stuff. No, nope, not at all. Steel Wing. Boom, we get an additional bulk, so uh, I don't think he'll be able to one-shot the scissor because he has to hit for 240 damage, and if you have the damage calculation that is 8 energies in combination, or maybe 7 and a choice band, and I don't see that happening uh, with the hand saddles of 4. He already used 2 Tapule, as a, and there's a Tapule in the discard. Very, very uh, neat to know. Uh, Scyther only has one retreat cost, a same as Scissor GX, which means we have access to Tapu Lele uh, to use Guzma once again. So we're definitely gonna knock out one of those rolls once again because this guy will only be able to deal 30 damage, which is very, very sad. I don't even want to one shot the Zoran Guru. Uh, the Zoran Guru does not even matter at all to us. 60 damage is like totally nothing. There's already two Max Lixir in the discard. Are we gonna see something like another Curlia? Okay, he's going to set up his uh, Tapulele, I guess. Okay, we have access to Ultra Ball. That's cool, I guess. We are confused, so that is very annoying. So with that in mind, we are just gonna use Tapulele. No Tapulele, we're gonna search out another Guzma. I just wanna check how many Max Lixir we still have left there. There is, of course, two Delmite, so at least we have access to that if we want to. Two Max Elixirs and four energies in the deck. We also have access to other Parallels. How many Field Blowers? Because that Parallel is kind of uh, getting the nerves on me. Okay, one uh, one Field Blower and two Parallels, okay? We need that little Field Blower here. Uh, what do we want? What do we want? I think I want this little Rolls. Rolls is going to go down. We're gonna one-shot them all one by one. So, retreat! Scissor! It's all up to you. Still winning. Stop! Okay, now we just wait for the ability to kick in. And after the ability has been kicking in, we have access to our Jax move that deals a bazillion amount of damage. So if we have 100 HP or less, we can even one-shot Tapu Lilis with our Jax move. So that is uh, something to keep in mind. Boom, two prize cards already taken down. Our Scyther is looking very grim. Still, we have still have not uh, hit for weakness just yet, but we don't even need it since we, uh, with a choice band, we one-shot a guard of our regardless, so. I think it's kind of okay to say that uh, weakness does not take a, into consideration too much. Okay, Oranguru shows its might. I can understand that, I can understand that indeed. We have, of course, access to another Tapu Lele to one-shot another Rolls. I think I'm gonna do that here. Unless there's a Tapu Lele priced. That could happen. Well, we're just gonna do it like this. Promote the Scyther. <laughs> we have the Kuzma. Oh, yeah, fantastic. Don't even need to do too much at this point. Uh, yeah, first things first. We can Ultra Ball for something, but I'm just gonna give an energy to Scyther because, again, we're gonna hunt after the little Rolls here. That is our strategy. Turn after turn, so Scissor smacking everything until we're satisfied. Still win. Boom! Not hitting for weakness once again. If we look at the damage output for weakness, 160. But we're still hitting for the numbers without weakness, just to keep that in mind. Another energy. So Oran Guru is going to show up once again to confuse us, which is annoying, but we have still have double cars energies in the deck. Three Guzmas in our discard pile. Very, very fun indeed. And Tapulele will have to hit for uh, some numbers here, otherwise our danger perception, uh, yeah, our danger perception will kick in very shortly. The only thing we need to do, there's already three rolls in the discard. We don't have to be afraid too much. We get end here. Understandable. Hopefully we draw to our field blower. That parallel is getting the annoyance out of me. We get, can maybe another Kuzma. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Okay, 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 come on, hit us. Hit us, come on. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, minus 30, 110. Okay. 140, oh. Yeah, does not hit for uh, the resistance here, whatever. Anyhow, look at this play. We can GX move on that. I think that is the best option here. 
now that I think about it. We don't need to Guzma out something lower or that little rolls because we can use that uh, GX move of, of course, the Scissor. Uh, <laughs> I just want to knock out this roll so badly, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna rely on Cynthia because this one is the main threat here at uh, this point in the game. So, Danger Perception kicking in, uh, the Choice Ban coming along here. Let's just, uh, if he knocks us out, oof. let's give a Float Stone to this guy. Parallel going away. Celesteel could also have been awesome, but let's get out another Scissor. Scissor is our main guy. Also, Oranguru could be nice if we want to draw some more cards. But with this, with a Float Stone and two Scissors totally set up, I don't think we have to be afraid too much here. And a Choice Bank coming along here, and there goes the attack. Crosscut GX, Danger Perception kicking in, and that is 180. Oof, GX move for the win here. Two prize cards, still not have a uh, hit for a weakness. And also Scissor showing the my dot. Oh, we had the Field Blower getting rid of the parallel at the LA late stages of the game. So this is going to be another round with uh, the Scissor Jax deck because we are totally dominating this uh, Gardevoir deck. The only thing we need to do is get out two Delmice and then we just uh, one-shot this. Or do we? No, we don't have any means necessary to just one-shot this Oron Guru. But we still have access to one Tapu Lele and there's still one Guzma in the deck which we know for sure. He's definitely gonna knock out the scissor at this point. Bridget, wow, <laughs> he gets out a Lily? Thinning out the deck, I guess. Energy coming to Ralts. Are we gonna see Red Candy? We can still see Gardevoir. We don't hit from the weakness at all, so for now... The only thing we need is a Guzma to win the game. Exactly, so go Chapu Lily. Cannot use our Jax move again, so... We're gonna just stack up energies. We have Rescue Stretcher. Well, that is game right here. I guess. No, that is not the game at all. Because the total amount of prize cards is not what we wanted it to be. Let's give an energy to this. Don't want to use my Rescue Stretcher at all. Although maybe we can thin out the deck. Yeah, Pokemon from the discard, I'm fine with that. Let's get Scyther out once again. Scyther on the field. I'm gonna feel blow away, of course, that parallel city, that is kind of annoying. Let's get rid of it. <laughs> and now we end ourselves to one card. Hooray! Come on, Lele Guzma! Oh, choice ban once again. Fantastic. Alright. We're gonna keep the choice ban in hand for now, because we only have one card. So Steel Wing will be able to deal the amazing 80 damage. And if a guard of war shows up, the thing we will have to do here is get out one Delmai. So I'm keeping cards in the hand in order for us to draw into Ultra Ball. And uh, hopefully we will be fine with that. He could also evolve into Galate. That could happen. But then our ability kicks in and Steel Wing will automatically destroy Galate. So he will have to hit 240 once again in order to win. Can also target, of course, Tapu Lele GX. That could happen. Field Blower once again. That is something I expected here to get rid of our Choice Band. How many Field Blowers in our Discard Pile or in the opponent's Discard Pile? I think there's only one Field Blower. I think Gardevoir decks usually run two Field Blowers. Super Odd getting all his resources back in the deck. So this is still not over. Still not over indeed. But you see how good Scissor Jacks can potentially be. Danger Perception kicking in. That means the Jax move deals 180 as a base. If you're facing an Evolution Pokemon, 280. With Steel Wing, you have access to 160. With Choice Band, 190. With Dalmice, 200. So a lot of things possible with that Danger Perception. So it's kind of like a tank. If they don't one-shot it, they'll be in trouble. I still have another Scyther to just work with. Let's just check the discard once again. There's Mew in there. Two Guzmas so far. We all have three Guzmas in the discard. So he thinks, oh, he only has three Guzmas. Well, that's where we're wrong. We run four Guzma. The only thing we will need is, you could guess it, is a Guzma. Or a Lele. Or Oranguru. Draw cards. Could also be fun. Kerlia shows up and we will be confused. I guess. Or he is going to retreat. Because if we flip correctly on this coin flip, he will see the discard. Profound knowledge, really? Wow, that happened. We have a double carless energy, so that is game because we can just destroy him with Tapu Lele. We're gonna say well played because Scissor only has one retreat cost, so Tapu Lele will clean up the field here. And here comes the energy drive. Boom for the go. Awesome. So that was that. Scissor coming. Another choice, man. Fantastic. Okay, that was Scissor GX coming on top. We did not hit for weakness. 
Don't forget that we were just way quicker than the opponent because he needs evolution, he needs his rare candies. And every time a scissor just comes in, Guzma KO, Guzma KO, it's just that good because we also have the uh, additional bulk to just, uh, and he's also afraid of the danger perception here. If he hits for like the numbers with Tapu Lele, he would have already been afraid of, of course, the danger perception kicking in. And it looks like we're facing Zora Gardevoir nowadays. A lot of Gardevoir shenanigans, we're gonna say, Tails never fist, come on, Xerneas, yes. Okay, this time we will start. Hopefully we start with a Cider, Cider is good. Delmice, ugh, the bad thing about starting with a Delmice, of course, is that it has two retreat cards. The good news is we hit for extra damage. And uh, the opponent, of course, is playing maybe some rolls. So I'm gonna take some rolls and I'm gonna knock them out. Okay, we have Bridget opening hand. Perf fantastic. So, uh, Scyther, Scyther, uh, or Guru. That is uh, what I mostly do at this stage in the game. Although, getting out a Registeel is definitely not, not bad indeed. In this situation, Registeel is very good because we hit for, of course, weakness against Roll. So, I think I'm just gonna get out these guys. There they go. Next turn, we're also gonna use the Tapu Lele. So, let's just do it like this. Yeah, he cannot evolve on the first turn. And we have access to Guzma. So, I'm just gonna give her energy to Registeel. Although, there's nothing in the discard pile. Mm. Mm. Definitely gonna draw an energy act afterwards. So, maybe touching to the. Scyther is okay, I guess, because that way we can knock out little Zoroas. Zoroas make sure that they uh, have consistency. This little Rolst won't survive for too long. Little Zoroa. The only thing we need right now is a Float Stone or an Energy, and uh, he will be seeing the discard very shortly. This Guzma play won't do that that much. If we attach to the Registeel, we would have only be able to deal 50 damage because we only have two down my So it looks like the opponent is that drawing. Wow, so far for consistency. He's already paralleled. We don't see a first turn Bridget. So it looks like Scissor Jax is giving us a little bit of luck. Sick Sycamore. Wow. And the DC already in the discard. The Guzma already in the discard. Cool. Wow, there's a bunch of Pokemon showing up here. So uh, he did not need his Bridget first turn, but we already see a very, very great solid start for the opponent. Come on, Energy, we need it. It's a Cynthia. I can take that. Here comes Scissor GX. Uh, we're also gonna use the Ultra Ball. Do we need Rescue Stretcher? I don't think so. Guzma, we still have four uh, access to four Guzmas here. So we're gonna get out. Tapu Lele won't do it too much. We're gonna get out Oranguru, just thin out the deck. We need, of course, our Float Stone in combination with an Energy. Instruct with Oranguru gets us another Scissor. We can evolve to the Scissor, but the bad thing about doing that is that we don't have access to Max Elixir, which is not my profound way of doing things here. DCE, Max Elixir, Field Blower, mm, I guess. We have a DCE, so if the Max Elixir hits, we can still attack. Okay, we can still attack perfectly with Registeel, because Registeel, of course, has the attack Turbo Arm that hits for weakness against Little, little Rolls. We also have Choice Band to work with, which is going to be something, something we'll use later. We have Sycamore in hand for the next turn. We already used Instruct. So here comes the Turbo Arm. We are now hitting for weakness. So a lot of people are playing Fairy, so playing Metal can be kind of a, 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 an advantage, if I say so myself. Okay, Ultra Ball. The good news is we have Choice Band. If a Zoroark shows up, Cross Card Jacks, that's the end of that. The, the bad news is that we need a double car of energy and we still have to check, did not check how many double car of energies might potentially be prized. We see Field Blower coming along here, getting rid of our parallel, which is unfortunate. Now he has access to first turn Bridget, actually the second turn Bridget. Wow, the, the, the field has been set up. Alright, I guess. I think in this situation I'm just gonna use Ultra Ball. I'm just gonna knock out this Zorua. I'm fine with that. I don't think Gardevoir can do too much without the draw potential of Zoroa. We do see four Zoroas in play. And a puzzle of time. Looks like two puzzles have been used already. And we have Guzma. Wow, how fantastic is that? Let's just give an energy to Scyther. We're gonna Guzma the hell out of that uh, little uh, Zoroa. And looks like it started to rain here. So, uh, little fun fact. And we're also gonna use Ultra Ball. No, we need a choice band. We definitely need a choice band, otherwise we won't hit for weakness. So here comes the Steel Wing for the amazing damage. 80, we still have an additional buff. So Gardevoir is getting a bunch of punishment here. Tapu Lele, perfect. Perfect. Tapu Lele Guzma, who's going down next? So if our Scissor goes down, we have Registeel to have a recovery. So the deck 
is working perfectly. Try it out for yourself. Let me know how Scissor Jacks is working for you guys. We have Choice Band in hand. It's going to be a Sycamore. It's going to be an Energy. So Zoroark is going down. And uh, Zoroark will only be able to deal 90 damage. That's only able to two sh actually 3 shot if he doesn't have a Choice Band. And uh, we already see that. No, nothing of that sort. He's also not giving up immediately. So uh, that's something I do like. Zoroark. Look at the full art. I do like the full art. Very nice because it comes as a collection box for new players. If you want to play, buy four Zora GX collection boxes straight your uh, stuff that you got from the packs and start building your deck. Super odd. You're gonna get a bunch of Pokemon back and an energy. Okay. You can deal with that. Come on. Danger Perception is not kicking in. He only deals 70 damage, so that's going to be dead. Max Legs are coming along. Come on. That is our scissor number two is being prepped here as, as we speak. So choice band over here. Ultra ball. Let's get rid of that shenanigans. Let's get out scissor number two. Scissor. Let's see here. What else might be potentially priced? We only need one energy because Dalmice is in play. I guess. So it doesn't even matter too much. That's choice band, but at least we won't draw that. Come on, one energy is all it takes. K A A A O. Come on! And truck! Floatstone coming to... This guy has 3 retreat cost, right? Well, that's something I don't like. And here comes a Sycamore. Come on, one energy. Let's do this. Well, we got the energy. We got the Max Elixir. We have even the Moon Racker Celestila being prepped. And uh, now we're just gonna... Pff, here you go, man. Up, parallel. Get rid of the Rolst, please. I want. I don't want to see Rolst. We're also pff, Max Elixir, whatever, for the memes of it. Come on, it works. Oranguru can even uh, show some might here. And as soon as he knocks out something, we have Tapu Lele. I want to have that access to Tapu Lele to use Guzma. So, Crosscut GX for 240 damage. Fantastically. Get out of my face, Zoroark. Not afraid of Zoroarks at all. We are playing with Scizor, the one and only bug type that is a metal type. You know how it goes. Come on, what's next? Another Zoroark. How do we take that? The good news is that the bulk is so incredible, so uh, that is a lot of HP, so he can of course one shot if he has a full bench and a choice band, that way he deals 150, 150 plus 70 gets the KO here, so he needs a choice band and a full bench, but then, wow, he just passes the turn here, incredible, well, I want this guy, sorry, there's nothing I could do about that, I want it, retreat, and now we're just gonna prepare our bulk here. We're also gonna give some float stones for everybody. Just gonna bench this Celestino for the memes of it. There we go. So, so he's definitely gonna end us. That is something I am sure. If he has a, still access to a Lele, he's gonna end us. He can also make this guy stuck. That's something he can do. But we only need to take one more prize card. And that's going to be that. We already used all of our float stones, I think. There's only one in the deck. We have access to the Lele. The reason that I just benched this guy is for the memes of it. I, I knew this end was coming. So at least we don't draw into some dead cards here. Come on, we have Sycamore. Hello. We cannot one shot the Zoroark. We cannot. So the thing we will need to do here, play it safely. He can never ever one shot the scissor. So he concedes. So as you can see, Scissor Jack's coming out on top. So hopefully you enjoyed the content on the channel. Be sure to demolish the like button. As always, I'll be bringing you guys more deck lists and TCG online matches. As always, it looks like for our uh, yeah a token of appreciation, we got a burning shadows pack. So of course, on the channel we always try to do something with the coins or actually with the things we get. So we're just gonna open it up for you guys. So Scissor Jack's did prove to be very solid. I, I, I think it's going to be a little bit better after our rotation as well because of course that Scyther sets himself up. We don't even need Bridget. Now that I think about it, only one Bridget is also okay. Maybe running four Scyther is a little bit better. All right, two rares in the pack. We get Electros. Oof, where the times that Electric was the good and Molomar, the wrong one, but still that is the garbage pack. What is this? Anyhow, this was Zapdos TCG. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to demolish the like button as always and subscribe for more content. See you guys in the next Pokemon TCG video. I'm out. Peace out.